In lesson three, we'll be learning about the idea of conductors and insulators and how they affect the transfer of heat. When we talk about conductors and insulators, basically what we're talking about is any type of substance that affects the ability of heat to transfer between two different substances. Either it makes it transfer better or it prevents it from transferring. A conductor is basically any material that transmits energy or basically helps the flow of energy. So as that pertains to heat transfer, heat's going to pass very easily through a conductor. When we think of conductors of heat, most often we think of metals, things like aluminum, copper, um, iron, silver and gold are very good conductors because they let heat pass through very easily. If I take an iron pan, set it on the stove, it's going to get hot quickly. So a lot of the time you'll make like cookware and things like that out of conductive materials because we want them to be able to warm up easily and heat quickly. An insulator, on the other hand, is a material that prevents the flow of energy. So if we're talking about heat insulation, we want something that's going to keep heat from passing through it. As we build homes and buildings, insulation is very important. We want to keep the warm air in. In the wintertime, we want to keep the cool air in in the summertime, so we put insulating materials like uh, fiberglass insulation or paper insulation in our walls and our ceilings that prevents the heat from escaping or getting in too easily. Other examples of good insulating materials include things like wood, styrofoam, plastic, rubber, um, those sorts of things. Um, generally speaking with insulators, anytime that the molecules are further apart or a less dense material, Usually it makes a good insulator because it's harder for the molecules to come in contact with one another to transfer heat. So in most cases, metals do make the best conductors of heat. Um, things like wood, plastic make good insulators. Water's in the middle of our chart that we see here because in some cases it can conduct heat, but it also can work to insulate. As we continue looking at things through this unit, it is important to understand the different roles that conductors and insulators play on the transfer of heat, and also the types of materials that work as good conductors, and the types of material that work as good insulators.